Okay, so Tom Misner is an Australian billionaire. He has a very big house, very nice cars, a private jet, and a son who, uh, who you might recognize. So this popped up my recommended the other day, Life of a Billionaire's Son. Bobby Meisner. Bobby Meisner. Bobby Misner. Bobby likes to live life fast. Why is he speaking? He's speaking about himself in the first yeah. This is so bizarre. Yeah. Now, while Bobby comes across like a total asshole. When are you? going to be a billionaire when he's dead. There's no denying, right? Like, he's an interesting bloke. What makes Bobby different from other rich kids? Very little. And for a while now, I've kind of, I wanted to know if he was really about it. Like, I wanted to know if these videos and flashy Instagram posts are, are like his life. So uh, I DM'd him, right? We uh, were chatting for a bit. Then I met him in a cafe, right? Which was surprisingly less awkward than I thought it was gonna be, considering what I've said about him in the past. He's got a face that looks like it's made out of a packet of ham. <laughs> <laughs> what have you ever seen? You know, the crack fox from Mighty Poosh? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> and we arranged a date for me, Stephen, and cameraman Mark Upson to fly out to Saint Tropez and swap lies with him for a whole day. Have you ever seen a f***ing queued again into a weather s I hate Gatwick with a passion. How long do you reckon the flight is? Two hours and five minutes. I reckon something like that. Alright. I read something now. <laughs> the name's Tom. <laughs> Tom Tom. I got it, Mark. Yeah, thank <laughs> um, So we're, we're just waiting to board the plane to St. Tropez. Just all white people at the gate. This flight, it seems. There's a guy over there with headphones on and an iPad. Everyone can have a headphone and an iPad. Yeah, no, I've got nothing wrong with it. Um, he, he looks very happy in life. You know, he's sort of reached that age where he can travel alone. And he's, he's found himself and he likes himself. You and don't know bit. that, he may desperately hate himself. I should probably put my camera down. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to go out on a super yacht and get a tour around his 100 million euro house and frolic around the south of France in a Rolls Royce. I am clamming. It's better than Gatwick. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's glass! <laughs> Driver, are you not gonna do my bag or? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I should probably put it in drive. Handbrake. <laughs> Come on, right. Let us. Ah, there we go. Scan Votra ticket. Does the fucking window go down? Okay, where's the, where's the accelerator? There. Sophia Antipolis. Antipolis, that's me. 12. But then, as always, disaster struck. So bear in mind, these are from the day before we were supposed to go. Like at this point, I had it booked in for a month and I'd spent thousands on this big video to end the summer. Yo, bro. Hey man, what are you saying? Still all good? Yeah, bro. What time's your flight? Gonna hop on the same one, because I've been in London for a few days, very sick. Ah, uh, about around nine. Okay, cool. And then, right, and then I sent him my EasyJet boarding pass. And straight after that, literally the next message, he cancelled. Ah, oh, I, uh, I can't go back, bro. Apologies. My dad just found out <laughs> I spent 10k on his card in Sant Trop. Oh, nice one, Bob. It's not fucking V-Bucks, mate. Everyone's like, you know, fucking everyone's bowling and like, mm. it's this, that, which suit are you wearing? Are you going out clubbing? This, like, you know, it's all about what you have, who you are, what does your dad do? How come when you were dropped into a school like that, you didn't just think, look at these wankers. Why did you become one? So less than 24 hours before we were supposed to fly out, I had to let everyone know that that our video was on the ropes. Hello mate, how's it going? <laughs> now I've got some bad news. Uh, he's just f***ing cancelled. Yeah, Bobby's just texted being like, Oh, I I'm not allowed to go back to Saint Tropez because my dad found out I spent stuff on his card. Uh, so, I mean, we booked it, so I reckon we still go. Uh, and I've got a bit of a plan. No. My Instagram was gonna pop. What are we gonna do, mate? Do you know what this is, Will? This is karma for ripping up my £30 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That's really unfortunate, Will. I was really looking forward to part two in the slums of Newcastle. Turn it off, mum. Turn it off. You know what, Will? I knew this would happen. I oh, spent a couple of days with me in the south of France with a billionaire. It all sounded too good to be true. I guess I'll still go. You know, fortunately, I've watched a bit of Bobby. And what he makes up for with his daddy's money, he lacks in personality, so, you know, maybe it's a blessing. Just another quick thought. You don't happen to know any other billionaires that live in Saint Tropez, do you, by any chance? Do you want to bring Jeremy Lynch along? Lifestyle of the filthy rich Saint Tropez, right? Lovely. This is what we 
would have experienced. <laughs> hey, my name is Bobby. In case you don't know me, there is one thing that I enjoy more than anything. Daddy's cash. <laughs> <laughs> We were going to recreate this video and then I saw that and I thought, <laughs> maybe not Steven. But when August comes, there's only one place to be. Welcome to Saint Tropez. Where the second language is French. And the first is money. Are you quite glad he's not covered? Yeah, oh, he's just an arsehole. There's nothing likable about him. Oh, he's got loads of money. That's not likable. I don't get what, what the story is here. Are we trying to work <laughs> out ourselves? I get the feeling you and him would have had a bit of a problem, mate. <laughs> So I thought we could get you doing that on the edge of the pool. Yeah. So go follow me on Instagram now, where the party never stops. Unless Daddy finds out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. In Central Bay, bitch. <laughs> oh. Central Bay. Where's Bobby? Oh, nice to see you. Woo! Are these, are these his relatives or nah, they're just staff. foreign foreign staff really yeah. are they? It's the staff. Oh it was <laughs> it was the staff! I thought they were just family friends and we were being horrible. Did you hear that accent they've got? <laughs> yeah, it could be one of ours. Call her Slick Rick. Hey listen sport, I know a lot of things are gonna happen this summer. A lot of things. I just wanted you to know that it's what God had intended. And if God didn't intend it, then he wouldn't have made it that way. Okay, so the new plan, right, I was thinking is kind of just stick to the old plan, right? I, I like that title, yeah. We don't need him to be there no. to switch lives with him. If we go on his Instagram, right, Yeah. we can just live his life by doing his Instagram. Okay, yeah. Uh, this one, right, I thought, hang on, hang on, I've got you something for this. Do you see the girl on the on the right? Yeah, she's got nice glasses. Because they're... No, no, what's she wearing? Seems like she's got a costume on. A swimsuit, yeah? Yeah. Right, well, I've got you one of them. Uh, it's... King hell. It's a size 14, I think you should fit in it. The next one, right, is him, right? He's Ferrari and he's last. So I thought you could play her part, right? Nice. We'll get a handbag. So this one, anyway, we just need a picture sat on some cars next yeah, to a big house. whipping. Nice. Right? Find a big house, cut the palm trees. This one, right, Ooh. I'll unbutton my shirt. You can get in the back, right? Put yeah. a necklace on, get a big boat behind me. Okay, now as I'm sure you could already tell, we weren't going to let our lack of a billionaire get in the way of a good title. So we arrived in Saint-Tropez the next morning, dressed to the nines, to see if this truly was a playground for the rich, or just some Waitrose Whitby. Welcome to Saint-Tropez. Where the second language is French. And the first is money. So go follow me on Instagram now, where the party never stops. Oh, Stephen, it's not working. The music's not playing. Let, let me do it. Your Will and Lanny. <laughs> Will Smith, Will Smith. Yeah, that's him. No, I look just like him, yeah. Maybe this video isn't a flop. Who cares now? <laughs> She's got very broad shoulders. What do you mean? It's the second one I've ever searched. I just. I just ordered a normal taxi. Why is this kit? I wanted a black cab with a racist driver. <laughs> 
That's what Bobby Misner promised me. So we finally got a table for dinner. We're kind of out the back, right? Yeah. The guy literally looked me up and down and went, yeah, this one. <laughs> you idol. They wouldn't even let us in before. It was it was like three people in the restaurant and then, yeah, have you got a reservation? Like, no. Yeah. Oh, not till 10 p.m. then. Stephen, what'd you go for? Um, the chef speciality. Looks like he's not very adventurous. I paid 80 quid for that. Okay, so then we set about recreating a billionaire's Instagram. And we went for the hardest one first. Look at f***ing blobby <laughs> I've got to wear shorts, otherwise it'll be demonetised. You know, you started filming videos with Mia. Surely this is the one for her, mate. <laughs> Look at that! I feel like you're Kara. Do you know that picture of Wayne Rooney when he's working? Can I see your, can I see your back? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, now, the place we were staying, right, was posh. Way out of our league. And we realised if we were going to fanny about in the pool of a place like this and still have a bed to sleep in that night, we were going to have to get up at the crack of dawn and get the shot whilst no one was watching. So do you think on that side? Cool. Away from the children. <laughs> Like, at what point do you think it went wrong? Okay, now after filming this, you know, the, the slow-mo epic dive, we got a bit of a slap on the wrist. We were told that wearing a shirt in the pool was not possible. So what we did is we went back in the pool and practiced the shot without it. Didn't exactly nail it, but uh, we realized, right, at this point, we only had one shot at this. So I snug out of the pool, whacked my shirt back on, and leapt like a young Michael Phelps. And we did it anyway. Uh, next up is the lie on some lasses arse with a tab in your mouth and lipstick on your cheek to show that you are absolutely solid. And you definitely, definitely shag loads of birds. Also, uh, worth noting on this one is the carefully spilt makeup that's kind of placed in such a way that all the designer logos are facing up. So this one, we open the door of the car, some trees in the back. Oh, we've got trees. Uh, a tanned, stunning lady. We've got one of them. Yep. Um, and I reckon we'll just dash some stuff out of my bag on the floor. The door's open. Cheers, Jeff. Uh, what about, I'm thinking, a Nintendo Switch? Yeah, that's, that's good. That's pretty f***ing rock and roll. Scream. based. Yeah, yeah, pass that, yeah. Oh, do you know what, Stephen? I think we unravel uh, YouTube All-Stars training kit. What was he doing, Will? Right, got, Bobby Miss now wishes he has that. Thinks Africa. Yep, that, ah, oh, that's it. I heard the billionaires love that. Well, Tell me that's not a perfect recreation, Mark. Uh, yeah. yeah, go on, in we go. Right, and then collapse. <laughs> yeah! Oh, God, it's hot. Ah, shut up, man. <sighs> Uh, right, and then number three was the pose with your mate on a car in front of your dad's house. Now, uh, now the problem with this is my dad lives in Whitley Bay, not Saint Tropez. Name one gangster that's been on a computer. Nen. So we set out on a mission to just find the biggest house we could and get a picture in front of that. We're gonna get shot, aren't we? We're getting shot. Okay, so we think we found the shot. We've just driven past one, but their gates are open and we'd rather not get shot. So Stephen, <laughs> move quick, right? <laughs> House in the background, Mark, obviously there's only one car, so we're gonna be in the middle. And uh, we get out, we sit on the bonnet, we'll move. And then, last but not least, I find a big yacht. Raj, that. There we go. Lewis Shamilton. Right, so then with all of our pictures collected, to get them ready for Instagram, we had to open Photoshop and, um, and make a few necessary adjustments. I will. Right, are you, are you ready to see these? I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm past caring. <laughs> Okay, okay, so the pool one. So here's Bobby's and here's ours. Now, there's a few things that pop out to me, Will. Um, <laughs> not, not the mask or the six pack. <laughs> It's the f***ing hairline. What do you mean? I, I haven't touched that bit, mate. <laughs> yes, you have. It's streamlined, mate. You were just going really fast. I think we got that pretty realistic. Yeah, people are just going to make comments about you being brave for being in the water with the predator. You've done something to my legs. Your legs? No. They're just naturally that size, mate. <laughs> Score out of 10 for me efforts on that one, please, mate. You can have 10, but... Oh! Yeah, what you did to me brings it down to <laughs> a five overall. Okay, so the car one. So here's Bobby's and here's ours. I uh, just want to know, uh, can you spot the subtle changes here? Something on the... Is that Ferrari? Yes. That, <laughs> uh, have you have you seen your arse? <laughs> Look, 
at you, eh? I thought, well, it get way more likes like that on Instagram. Double cheeked up. Jesus. Bit of liquid fire on that. Frosty Jacks as well. Yeah, you can't go wrong, can you? We have. We have gone wrong. Okay, the house one. Here's Bobby's. Yeah. And here is ours. This actually looks really good. I'll give you that. The watches. Yeah. Fun fact, they're actually Jake Paul's. Are they? Yes. Yeah, yeah. The house is literally about a fifth of the size of that in real life. You get the white van, though. <laughs> well, I, I needed it for context, did it? Yeah. Just, just to show it's a truly massive house. We look like the top 1% here. Like, one of us has just passed our driving test and the other is the instructor. <laughs> and instead of Mackey's, we've got to San Tropez. Okay, then the last one, right, I struggled a bit because we couldn't really find a yacht big enough. So this one's Bobby's. Yeah, he's got his Mercedes. And I've kind of just cut us out and made the background bigger. What stands out to me is the windshield in the back and the Lamborghini badge. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thought we had to get a Ferrari and a Lamborghini, aren't you? Because then you're not a billionaire. Uh, I wanted to know your opinion. Which one of these four would you least like me post on Instagram? There's one that is clearly horrific. <laughs> The All right, that's fine. Say no more. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely not post that one. Well, I think we can conclude that as a completely unsuccessful trip. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, that's the end of the video and mine and Stephen's taste of billionaire life. If you have enjoyed, please do leave a like down below and subscribe to Stephen for uh, saving the video. If you fancy following me on Twitter, that's Will and E, as is my Instagram. And if you're new around here, as always, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys later.